there was a hedge of protection around John. If you go back to the chapter, the Bible says the custom of Job was to make a sacrifice. He was pleading the blood over his children. Intercessors in the house. I want to tell you, when we begin to enter his presence by the blood of Jesus, he will drown out every lie that the enemy has said about you. He will drown it out. Then I start praying boldly because of the blood of Jesus. I enter into the presence of God and when I walk into the presence of God, every lie that who do you think you are, you're not worthy. I hear, daughter, come into my presence. Come and sit high with me and let us bring my government on earth. There is power in the blood of Jesus for intercession. Because instead of shame, you hear the Father's voice say, daughter, I've been waiting for you. We cannot do anything without prayer. Well, the reason some of us cannot enter into prayer is because we want the lie that we're not the celebrating Christians. We want the lie that they can do it, but we can't. Sisters and brothers tonight, I'm here to tell you, you have authority by the blood of Jesus Christ. You have authority by the blood of Jesus Christ. The Lord has showed me the power of the blood. When I told you about my dream with Job, Paul well, and Bob Jones today, there were three colors. One is the color of purity. God is calling the church back as we pray, to pray to come back to holiness. We must pray as we pray, God, as I come in in the blood of Jesus, anything that is not of the blood, let it die within me. Greed, we must grow into Christ-likeness. We must be like Jesus. I love that word today, intercession, being in the presence of God. The only way we become like Jesus is by being with Jesus in prayer. Then the last color was red. Red is the powerful blood of Jesus. In Africa, we don't start a service without this simple song. What can wash away my sins? Hello? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole? What? talked about generational curses. We've talked about things that have kept you in bondage. We've talked about the lies that you believe. Why you think that the greatest prayer warriors are the intercessors. No, we've all been called to pray. And Jesus brought that to the cross by his blood. So tonight I want to say, if you have a problem and you say, something is holding me back, wherever you are, just stand up. If you feel something is holding you back in intercession, if you